Hey everybody, I'm at a local trail at a pump track. In the middle of it, I figured, you know, I should just do a review on the pads that I use for light trail riding. I mean, light to medium, I guess. So these are my three favorites that I own. I tried many others and I ended up keeping three of these and I just want to share with you what I use out on the trails. These are not for downhill, all right? I just want to make that clear. So first up, I'm wearing the Liat. It's the Air Airflex. It's got the D3O in the front. It's very rugged. It's soft to the touch, but as soon as you hit something, it's hard as rock. It's got the nice padding on the side. And trust me, when you're on a trail and you slide, this is the first place that gets injured, right here. So I'm glad that they have this protected all the way across and on top of here also in case you poke into something. So they have a little uh, nice uh, heavy foam that's protecting the upper area as well as the sides in case you slide, you know, you're sliding. So this is what I prefer riding. This is the other one that I ride. From a feeling standpoint, they're, all three of these are very comfortable by the way. There's not one that is not uncomfortable, which is why I own all three. So with the Fox, it's, this is the Fox Enduro. I own two pairs of these because I love them. It has the D3O in the front. Actually, are these D3O? I forget. But uh, even if they're not, they're very heavy foam. Kind of like the heavy foam that's on the Liat in the front. I believe it's the same material. So this is not D3O. But it's very comfortable. It provides you enough protection on light trail that if you slide or if you fall, it's going to protect you from bruises, probably not heavy bruise, but uh, scratches and, and any kind of uh, cuts in your skin. So this is what I prefer riding. Box has a left and a right because depending on how you see situated, it protects a little bit outward. There's a difference. If you lose one, which I have lost one, you have to buy both pairs because you're going to miss one. So that's the only downside. It's got heavy material, so it protects you really well, but it's breathable. It's I mean, you can see through, right? Actually, maybe you can't, but a little bit on the thicker and a little bit thinner, but they're very heavy compared to the G-Form. So G-Form is very light, very, it's probably the least protection of all three, but they're very comfortable. They're, they're like women's stockings. I've never worn one, but that's what they feel like when you put them on, very sticky to your skin. It adheres to it. First five minutes, you're gonna notice that you're wearing something because it's gonna be like rubbing your skin. But within 10 minutes, you're gonna forget that you're wearing anything. So this is very comfortable for longer trail rides. I just don't prefer using it because it lacks the protection that I need. But I kept it because it's adequate and for those hot days or emergency use, these are my backups. So why do I choose Liat over the Fox because Fox doesn't have the side protection. It doesn't have any padding on the side. As you can see, there is no padding on the side. And I have been injured before with the pads on and it's always been this right here. So when I wear the Liat, I don't have that concern. Well, actually I do, you know, you gotta be careful all the time, but I have less concern for the side of my knees or the leg because this protects me, where the Fox doesn't. For normal trail riding, yeah, sure. I love Fox, it's comfortable. This is my first preference. But anytime I go out and I'm going through pump tracks or other a uh, little bit more gnarly rides, this is what I wear, right? Intermediate to uh, medium advanced, this is what I prefer. The other difference is Fox doesn't have a breathable back. I mean, it's, it's thinner, breathable material on the back where the Liat has an open back. So it's completely breathable. It's a little bit thinner. So it lets you breathe, there's no sweating. Even today I was riding, you know, I had a little sweat built up on the back. With this, there's no sweating. And it doesn't pinch your skin either, unlike some of the other brands. I, I had the ones from Fox, took it right back because this area was pinching in and I couldn't ride with the Fox. So this is the best choice that I found from Fox. This is what I use on a daily basis. 
they all have silicone rubber on the outer edge. They all do. So, so, so they don't slide or anything like that once they grip on enduro right side. Enduro left side. And for sizing, extra large, extra large, and extra large. So they're pretty comfortable when it comes to the sizing. So if you wear a large on one, you're probably gonna end up with large on the other brands. As for the negatives, the G form tends to slide down a little bit. But once in a while, I have to adjust it back up because what happens is this would slide down and it's actually below my kneecap. And that is actually not good. When it's below the kneecap, if you fall, your kneecap's not protected. It's meant to be up here. So that's the only downside I find with the G-form. In the side, as you can see, I got the three pads here. This protects you a little bit somewhat. If you have it correctly positioned on your knees, then you have some protection here, but I find it always sliding down. And my kneecap is up here. So that's the only downside, which is why I have this as a backup in case I forget one. I always leave this in my car. My first choice is a Liat. Now, I'm not getting paid by anybody. I'm not sponsored by any of these brands. So this is just my personal opinion from my personal experience, having ridden all of these. So that's the basics when it comes to protection. You gotta wear your knee pants, even on light trail, because accidents happen and you don't plan for accidents. If you find this information useful, please subscribe, give me a like. I mean, I took a break just to make this video. You gotta give me something for that, right? You all take care.